in your astrological chart. All the information you're looking for, that's in the description box down below. Happy birthday. And I'm all of fancygirl.co. Go ahead and check out the discount code. Begin the video also in the description box down below. This is for Taurus. All right. Okay. So you have four pentacles, sun and Capricorn. Okay. The number 39. You have fright, the number 21. So the four of pentacles is sun and Capricorn. This can also be Pisces, Sagittarius, and Taurus and Libra energy. This is the nine of swords, so Gemini and Mars. 21, again, breaking down to a three. So this can also be Gemini energy, Taurus, Libra. <laughs> this is a, you're having like worry, depression, anxiety, nightmares. You could also have Gemini, Aries, or Scorpio um, in that particular placement of Venus or switch it around, right? Like you could have Taurus in your Mars, Taurus in your Pluto, Taurus in your Mercury, whatever. You know, you could have it in any of those placements. Taurus in your Venus for some of you. There is a realization that you are the subject of gossip, okay? You feel guilty, you're feeling guilty. In the future, you're feeling very guilty. Many of you are business owners. You could even be pregnant for some of you, okay? Um, a lot of you feel guilty because you're hiding your money from someone or there's been secrets hidden that are finally coming out there's also erectile dysfunction or lack of sex okay you may also be a mother okay many of you are saving your money if you're single if you're in a relationship you're hiding money from whoever you're with and they don't know that yeah queen of pentacles in reverse right okay magician in reverse all right Ooh, got cards flying out. Fool and chariot. Okay. Yeah, hermit. Tower, Aries Scorpio. Many of you will be finding out that someone is cheating or you're cheating with the, the tower or you're kicking someone out or they're kicking you out. Um, the, sudden re re the sudden revelation you'll be having is there's infidelity here. If there's some kind of relation. Yeah, two of cups just fell out in reverse. There's some kind of infidelity. I can't make this. Bruh, I can't make this up. I don't think you left this because there's abandonment issues. Pisces and Saturn could also be a Sagittarius. This was in reverse. I just accidentally put that in the upright. Taurus, the higher font is in reverse. Okay. So you have the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo. You have the chariot which is cancer aries scorpio many of you drive for a living you could also be driving a new car buying a new car having some type of rags to riches story you have the magician in reverse gemini aries virgo scorpio and the hermit virgo you have the fool aquarius aries scorpio the two of cups venus and cancer can't be leo all right hidden energy you don't see is the hierophant which is taurus energy and you may have Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini in your Venus, or you have Taurus in your Uranus, Taurus in your Venus, Taurus in your Mercury, but you're spying on someone. All right. So, there's someone spying on you. Take it as it resonates. Okay. So, with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, many of you are recognizing that it is a need for you to focus more on your health. Queen of Pentacles in reverse can be overweight. This can be something that you're looking at within yourself. A lot of Taurus women um, suffer with their weight due to um, the bull being your symbol. So many Taurus women are built much bigger than other women because of that astrological sign um, being expressed physically through them. Okay. Uh, many of you, the Queen of Pentacles, if you are in a relationship, it is strictly for money. And if you're single, you could be newly single or you don't want a relationship right now if you are single, okay? Um, many of you are also paying attention to your mothering. Queen of Pentacles in reverse can be um, a woman that may not know her value 
or it can even be someone who's infertile or is not doing the best of her abilities as a mother so that may be something that you're starting to focus on if you are a mother if you are single you're going to become more aware of infertility issues body issues there's a need for you to look at your health during this time but i feel like that's something you would already know okay um there's also financial instability okay queen of pentacles versus someone who will use someone for money all right um in the future many of you will be losing your reputation about something okay and many of you if you are in a relationship or commitment this could be a marriage you don't actually want to be in it but you're in it okay you could also be in a constitution institution foundation church service but you don't actually want to be in it this can also be like um you don't want a traditional relationship you don't want um or you don't agree with the views of someone else okay regarding religion regarding um commitment and marriage okay there's a lot of manipulation and that's why you're not investing and vice versa the magician in reverse is someone who will do whatever it takes for them to get what they want gemini is rebel scorpio this is also a very masculine energy and you're no longer giving money to like a greasy car salesman the, the magician in reverse is usually like a man but it's someone who you know they are in it for themselves they're not in it for anybody else essentially it's a singular energy i want what i want i don't care if it affects other people and you're realizing with the full aquarius aries scorpio that this is due to um someone not going to change it doesn't matter what you don't like about somebody whether they're a man or a woman so oh they act really childish oh they are horrible with communication oh they you know we start a relationship and it ends just as quickly that's not going to stop with this individual that is who they are they are the fool okay so the zero the o is the recognition that this person does not know who they are there is a relationship that is ending just as quickly as it began because that's who this person is they don't know who they are they cannot invest in you taurus okay you're also doing something completely brand new it could be a new career you could be graduating traveling somewhere you've never been um you are recognizing you only want spiritual connections you want something that's deeply meaningful and powerful and you know you want it to start as friendship and grow into more in that process though you are going through a breakup because the two of cups is in reverse you're not compatible with this person you're not on the same page as this person um if you are in a relationship or commitment you guys are staying with each other because you feel sorry for one another not because there's actual love uh, many of you guys could be going to see a teacher you could be going to see a shaman. You could also be stepping into mission. Many of you are also um, spending more time with yourself. The chariot is also saying that if there is a relationship, you or whoever the masculine energy is, the chariot is also saying that whoever the masculine energy is, is if there's a relationship here, Cancer, Aries, Scorpio, they will allow everything possible to get in the way of this relationship for it to not blossom. So you may feel as a woman, right? Like this person does not see your value. They don't see your value. They don't see your value. They are manipulative. They will not change. You're not compatible right they ghost and they come as they please whatever but when they come around it's only for money right and it's not leading to the commitment you want so we're going to look at advice because a lot of you guys are sticking in it only because of abandonment issues let's see here all right many of you are being talked about by friends potentially 
Okay, you have the moon. There's that four of pentacles. Your advice is look at how you're really feeling right now with the moon. Look at how this is making you feel. Some of you will be going to a psychic, a medium, a seer, okay? That's for a lot of you the advice. Uh, you could have been dreaming about this, seeing this in your dreams as well. There's a secret love here with the moon that will be revealed, okay? Express one's emotions for a lot of you. But also recognize that there actually is no illusion if you are willing to see somebody for who they are. With the Four of Pentacles, Sun and Capricorn, this is a materialistic relationship and that is being yanked off, like the blindfold's being yanked off of your eyes. This has been strictly about money. Money, money, money. Okay? Um, give me one more for advice. Oh my goodness, the Six of Pentacles. It's only about money for crying out loud. Bottom of the deck, you have Wheel of Fortune, Aquarius, Toy Seal, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Pisces. So you're going to get a promotion. You're going to get some good news coming your way. Make sure that you're listening to your spirit guides, even though it is going to really, 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 really hurt. This will lead to the ending of, you know, a friendship, ending of a relationship. But it's because you are willing to close out cycles for something brand new. You're ending a 12-year cycle and recognizing that you've been receiving crumbs you're also going to be receiving child support but the six of pentacles is moon and taurus which is also talking about you know dating some of you guys will be dating others of you will stop acting like someone is not giving you crumbs or morsels right they're giving you like little morsels of energy or attention or whatever because they're giving it to other people with the six of pentacles you see how he's like oh i'll give some over here and some over here but it's imbalanced um many of you will receive something leap from a legal situation like receive money from it this is also tips okay you uh also donate to something someone many of you will be donating okay yeah um, but I do see a promotion coming your way I do see you attracting in someone new because opposites will attract um, and many of you guys will be traveling as well if you are looking to move forward it's really just about confidence be confident in yourself. Recognize that, you know, rejection is really God's protection, okay? And if that person didn't see your value and your worth, there are 7 billion other people in this world that will, okay? And you're not the first person for that to happen to. It is perfectly okay for you to feel however you feel. That is valid, all right? And I'm so sorry you ended up in a situation where someone is very manipulative. All right, Taurus. Um, for many of you, you need child support, okay? There could be the birth of a child happening as well. You could also be making a new app. Also see you blocking someone or them blocking you. There's also a masculine energy here who they play too many video games. They aren't wanting commitment um they're financially struggling and they don't cross the finish line okay there is a masculine energy here that is operating in that vibration they have body dysmorphia energy like they have body dysmorphia so there's something about themselves physically they don't like and yeah they could be unemployed or just really bored they have no money for the non-essentials 
And if you're a woman, I see you walking away with your finances, walking away with your dignity. And you're having a success because you get rid of this person. Essentially, you stop investing in this person. Because you decide I'm gonna love myself more and be strength, Venus and Leo, even if I walk alone, it's a lot better than dealing with someone who's not a blessing, but a burden. This is unconditional love of self. Many of you are famous, you work in the public's eye. You know, a lot of Tauruses are cooks, uh, fashion designers, and they sing. Tauruses are the singers of the Zodiac. So many of you will transmute this into, you know, your music, transmute this into whatever art you do and allow yourself to be seen as the minor icon of the empress, which is single, doesn't have children. You could have children, but you don't have to. But this is really signifying um, if you are walking away from a relationship or a commitment, someone comes into your life sort of like an angel. And they help you, you know, move on as as you, you know, are leaving the situation. They help you move on and let you know, like, uh, they're your rock, essentially. Strength is a love that does not come around very often. Just doesn't. And this is what's coming your way. It will be a success. Jupiter and Leo could be Pisces. I see you being seen with someone in public. Okay. Someone's also catfishing you. It's a man doing this. It's a Taurus, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. They're catfishing you. They're like making fake profiles to watch you. Um, they also have a mental disorder. And yeah. Okay. This has been your reading, Taurus. Ashe.